Today on Van City Audi, we're doing a before and after comparison of the integrated engineering turbo inlet. Uh, last year at Evolution uh, Auto Performance in Maple Ridge, I had my car dynoed all wheel drive, 506 wheel horse, and 519 pounds foot. So this year, I'm actually gonna get a comparative dyno done before and after the install. Uh, before the install is as is, as has been racing, uh, the Stage 2 Plus with the injector upgrade. Uh, I'm gonna be running it in front wheel drive mode only, so I'm gonna actually be turning that Haldix switch off so the power only gets to the front tires. Uh, that way, there's a little bit less of a drivetrain loss. I feel like that'll be a more accurate representation of the power that the car makes. Then we're gonna have them install the integrated engineering turbo inlet. Then we're gonna dyno the car after to see what kind of actual horsepower and torque we gain from the modification itself. So do a little before and after comparison. I'm gonna record the footage in the car, outside of the car, so you can see there's no funny business. Same tune, same stuff I was using on the track the last few weeks. Custom code, stage two plus, upgraded injector file. Hope you guys enjoy this week's footage. Here we are at Evolution Auto Performance in Maple Ridge. It's a pretty badass shop. They work on all different makes and models. 1990 Eagle Talon TSI all-wheel drive. This is actually my younger brother's car. It has been a passion project of his for years. Just finally getting it built and finished. Body work has yet to be done. Evolution is excited to get this out their doors and complete it as another finished product. Really excited to see how this turns out. Pretty cool Toyota Supra. Bunch of cool project cars in here. Cool Lexus. This little funky beast over here. So as I'm walking around the shop here at Evolution, there's some pretty cool cars. One of the cars that I actually noticed was a two liter massive turbo Honda Civic. So I thought I'd show you guys that. I'm really hoping that they take it to Mission Raceway this year and get some crazy times out of it. From what I've heard, it can run a 9.5. So that would be pretty badass for a front wheel drive Honda Civic. In all of its glory. Serious meat. So we've done two back-to-back -back dynos now and it had significant less power than last year at the track, yet I'm running the exact same times at the track. 
So we're wondering if the difference between front wheel drive and all wheel drive reads differently on this dyno. So we're just about to move the car forward and now test it as an all wheel drive vehicle, turn that Haldex controller back on, give power to all four, and we'll compare the numbers between front wheel drive and all wheel drive. Holy shit! It's loud when you're not inspecting it. <laughs> Well, that was a really good test, a good comparison between last year when I dynoed and this year I dynoed. This year was 484 horsepower and 470 pounds-feet of torque. So significantly lower than last year in the tune that I had last year. Weird thing is, I'm running the exact same times at the track, a 10.6 at 130. Seems crazy to me, but very interesting to see. Uh, we then put it on uh, for the all-wheel drive dyno, and it came back at the exact same horsepower. I think it was 488, so four different, not a huge thing. But the torque actually spiked and went 20 higher than the front wheel drive. So the front wheel drive had a nice even power band. I feel like that's what we're going to use for the before and after comparison rather than the spiky one that we got on the all wheel drive. So we're going to do the install now and then after that we're going to do another front wheel drive dyno run to see if that inlet provides the power that is stated. So here is the integrated engineering turbo inlet. It's a three inch. And Integrated Engineering claims 13 brake horsepower and 16 brake torque, so we will see where it falls. So here is a direct comparison of the stock turbo inlet that just got taken off. A little dirty, I don't think you can see in there probably. But you can see the bends on the inside. See that the airflow might be a little hindered. And in comparison to the integrated engineering, beautiful piece, butter smooth inside, nice looking piece of hardware. So now they're gonna finish the install and put that piece in its place. Well, they're about halfway through the install now, not taking them nearly as long as I thought. They're doing a great job. Uh, integrated Engineering provided an awesome set of instructions uh, that you could print out and bring to the shop. But when they took a look at it here at Evolution Auto Performance, they were able to skip a couple steps and do the install much quicker than it would normally take. So I'm thankful to the guys for getting it done quicker than was originally anticipated. Saved me a bit of coin uh, for not as many hours on labor to get this install done. Um, so once that's done, we'll get it back on the dyno, back on front wheel drive mode and do a comparison to give you a reading of the horsepower and torque after the inlet's been installed. So the install, the turbo inlet is now done. Got it back up on the dyno, got it front wheel drive mode only. They're locking it down right now and then we will throw it up there and see what kind of numbers it makes. Come on, big numbers. We're good. the first run didn't quite work out. We ended up freezing the computer on the dyno. They're telling me it's too much power. I don't buy it. We're gonna reset everything, jump back in the car, let it cool for a quick sec, get it back on there for a second dyno. So this is take number two.
heaviest runs listed above it at 484 and 470. So here's the overlay of the first run, which was 484 horsepower and 470 foot. And then after the in inlet was installed, it bumped it up to 505 and 491. And you can see the max torque actually hitting sooner at 3,900 rather than 4,250. And he turned down the fan for me. Thank you so much. These guys at Evolution are awesome. So that's in front wheel drive mode. Good torque curve, looks good. All right, so we cooled down the car a bit. We're gonna give it one more go, see if it makes even more power. Here's to hoping, but I'm already super happy with the results. Integrated Engineering's Turbo Inlet, 20 horsepower, 35 pounds foot. Unbelievable results. Guys at Evolution Auto Performance took care of me. Great job, everything ran smoothly. Was super happy to have such a great team work on my car and do the dyno, check the before and after. Very, very good. I can't wait to keep doing more mods and bring you guys the performance of the different parts that I'm using to hold the creators and the makers of these parts accountable for what they put out there. A lot of people out there run parts that claim 30 horsepower, 40 horsepower, you get it on a dyno and there's zero gain. But in this case, Integrated Engineering proved that their quote is even lower. I think they said 16 pounds foot and 13 horsepower. So killed it on the numbers. Really, really happy with the performance. I uh, can't wait to get it back to the track. Uh, I'm actually heading out to Tacoma, Washington tomorrow to go out to the Audi Expo. So I'll be there to say hi to all the uh, neighbors down south. And then two weeks after that, I'm back to the drag strip racing with this modification done and hopefully a couple more in store for you guys. So thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's footage. Uh, I'm really excited that uh, the parts that I purchased from a trusted brand like Integrated Engineering, uh, I use their their um, intake, as you guys already know, and have had great results with it. So really, really happy that another performance mod of theirs, tucked way down there, worked so well. Really excited to get it back to the track. Thank you everyone for watching, till next time guys.